hearts that are desperate to see you and to bless you. Thank you, Jesus, that we get to come, that you've made a way for us to come, to enter into the holiest of holies. Thank you, Lord, that any ounce of hunger that we have comes from you. So we just ask today, we were talking in pre-brief about we're in the days between the ascension and, and Pentecost and feeling so hungry and so desperate for him to come and meet with us however he'd like. And so would you just out loud, just tell him, Lord, you can come today however you want. Lord, you can come however you want today. You can come with wind and thunder and power or with a whisper. Lord, we're hungry to meet with you. We're hungry for this room to shake, to be filled fresh with your Holy Spirit. Lord, would you keep us from doing business as usual? Would you fill us up? In Ephesians 3, it talks about being filled up to the fullness of God. Would you fill us up to the fullness of God today? Body, soul, and spirit, would we be full of you, Lord? Clothed with power from on high. Oh, Lord, what an honor it is to come in, that we get to come and bless you today and look at you today. Thank you that you've given us eyes to see you and ears to hear you and hearts to know you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we're hungry. I just say I'm hungry, Lord. I'm hungry for you. I'm hungry for you, Jesus. We'll wait for you, however long it takes. We'll wait for you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you that we've been filled and you long to fill us again. Thank you, Jesus.
if it's a worry, if it's a victory, if it's a, a failure, whatever it is. And I want you to just create a bonfire to offer him praise because he sees it all. He's not turned off by any of it. But you can bring it to him. All of it.
34 it says I will bless the Lord at all times his praise shall continually be in my mouth my soul will make its boast in the Lord the humble will hear it and rejoice oh magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together I sought the Lord and he answered me and he delivered me from all my fears they look to him and were radiant and their faces will never be ashamed. We thank you, Jesus, that you are delivering us from all of the soulish things, all of the things in our bag that we came in with, all the fears. Thank you, Lord, that our soul makes its boast in you today, Lord. We don't boast in the things that are that are in our bags. We boast in you today. Our soul makes its boast in you today, Lord. And we thank you that as we look to you here in this place, as we tell our souls to praise you, that you make our faces radiant and that we will never be put to shame. So we look to you, Lord, and we say, do what you need to do in our souls. Deliver us. Oh, Lord. Make our faces radiant as we look to you. We say we will bless you at all times. Your praise shall continually be in our mouths. Let us exalt his name together. We exalt you in this place, Lord. We magnify you in this place. We lift you high here. Thank you, Lord. You save us out of all of our troubles. You make us radiant. You lift us up. Thank you, Jesus. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way here. Have your way in me. 
Have your way in this place. Have your way, Lord. Have your way. Have your way in my life. Have your way, have your way.
called by a new name which the mouth of the Lord will name you shall also be a crown of glory in the hand of the Lord and a royal diadem in the hand of your God you shall no longer be termed forsaken nor shall your land any more be termed desolate but you shall be called Hepzibah, or my delight is in her. And your land married Beulah, for the Lord delights in you. Thank you for giving me a new name. Lord, your global bride, Lord, Gentile and Jew. You've given us a new name, and we say thank you. We look to you. We look up. We lift our faces. We look to you, radiant one.
For you. 
Thank you, Lord, that you have overcome and that you will overcome, that you've made us radiant now and that you will make us radiant. That you have all authority. I keep thinking about Revelation 22. It says, there will no longer be any curse and the throne of God and of the Lamb will be in it and his bond servants will serve him. They will see his face and his name will be on their foreheads and there will no longer be any night and they will not have need of the light of a lamp nor the light of the sun because the Lord God will illumine them they will reign forever and ever. So we say thank you, Jesus, for this great mystery that you've overcome and that you're coming back again to overcome, that we can look to you now and be radiant and that there's a day written in the book where you're coming back and will be made radiant permanently, where your name will be on our foreheads where there will be no need of light because you will be our light. As your bride, we just say we look to the day. Where the lamb will be the light. Where you'll overcome forever and ever and ever. Thank you, Lord, that you would fill us here and now while we wait and while we cry out, Maranatha, thank you, Jesus.
for, Lord, what you say. You do have the final say. You have the last word. You have the only say that matters, Lord. God, we want to come up under willfully under your authority. Not resisting, God, not kicking against the goads, not not dipping our pinky toe into the water outside of your authority, but willfully abiding inside your authority, Lord. Coming into agreement on the earth with all that you say, with all that you do. Over our lives, over our families, over our cities, over our nation. What you say goes. Lord, line us up with your voice, with your heart with your wisdom, with your word, God. We lean into your authority today. We admit, God, we know nothing. But we know you. We want to know you more, Lord. We want to be like Paul and know nothing but you you crucified Jesus with the power of salvation God the power of your name the power of what you've done pull us into alignment today Holy Spirit with the authority of Jesus Lord we find rest and comfort in your authority we take a deep breath and rest in your authority, God. Oh, you're in charge. You're God. I'm not. Thank you. Thank you for your active authority, Lord. It's not passive. It's not distant, Lord. It's active. It's present. It's engaged and we want to come into full agreement, submission with your will, God. Oh, we want to come into full agreement, submission to your good, pleasing, and perfect will today, Lord. We present ourselves here, Lord, as living sacrifices, holy and acceptable to you, God. This is our worship. And we do not conform to the pattern of this world. But we want to be transformed by the renewing of our minds under your authority. So that we might know what is the good, pleasing, and perfect will. Oh, Holy Spirit, come and align, 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 align our thoughts, align our feelings, align our actions our pocketbooks, our calendars, our decisions, Lord, our relationships. Come and bring alignment today, Lord, where we're resisting, God. Show us. We want to submit to your will. We want to present ourselves living sacrifices. All authority is yours. be 
wise in our own eyes, Lord. No, we'll oh, lean into you your wisdom. Our life is in the hands your ways are better. Your words are better. Your thoughts are higher. Lean, on my I lean into your authority. You have my life. what I do, what I say, who it's with. Have authority, Jesus. You All have authority. authority. Holy Lord, am I understanding? My life is in the hands of the maker.
you saw him through, you'll see me through. has been so sweet because the Lord had us singing in Psalm 34 about those of us who look to him are radiant and our faces know no shame. And now we're singing about being transformed into the image of that radiant one. Um, trusting him with everything presenting ourselves as living sacrifices. What a privilege we've been given. I want to read this scripture in 2 Corinthians 3, and I would love for you to repeat it after me. It's 2 Corinthians 3, verse 18. We all, with unveiled face, beholding as in a mirror, the glory of the Lord are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory just as by the spirit of the Lord Lord we thank you so much for what you do when you come you renew our minds you lift our heads your kindness leads us to repentance you always give us a new song to sing you're wonderful in all of your ways thank you for your mercy that you've given us today thank you for reminding us of the gospel thank you for giving us a new name Thank you for lifting our heavy loads today. Thank you for the invitation to be like children. Oh God, you are so good. There is no one like you. And we don't take for granted today your nearness. It is our very good. Your nearness, it is our good. And so we thank you. We honor you. You are our great reward, our treasure, Lord. You are our portion. You are our prize. There is none, none like you. We give you praise, Jesus. Um, there's a set immediately following. So if you could please maintain a worshipful atmosphere, if you'd like to have conversations just go out those doors and thanks for joining us today see you next week <laughs>